Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we have to show that the radius of curvature at any point on the given curve is y square by c. As a first part, we are going to find dy by dx. It is a hyperbolic function. c is a constant kept as it is. Cos h x by c differentiation is sin h of x by c and x by c differentiation is 1 by c. We can cancel these two. So, we get dy by dx as sin h of x by c. Then, d square y by dx square is sin h differentiation is cos h of x by c and x by c differentiation is 1 by c. Now radius of curvature rho is 1 plus dy by dx whole square then for this power 3 by 2 whole division d square y by dx square. So this is 1 plus sin h of x by c and square. So we have hyperbolic function to square then whole power 3 by 2 then in the denominator cos h of x by c into 1 by c. Now we have an identity which is cos h square x minus sin h square x is 1. In hyperbolic function this is identity. If I take this term to the other side cos h square x equal to 1 plus sin h square x. So in place of this 1 plus sin h square x by c I am going to use this identity of the hyperbolic function so the numerator will become cos h square of x by c whole power 3 by 2 then whole division we have cos h of x by c into 1 by c. We can cancel this square and this now we get h cube cos h cube so rho is cos h cube of x by c by cos h of x by c and this into c we can take the c to the numerator and we can cancel this it become h square so finally, rho is c into cos h square of x by c. But the question, y equal to c cos h x by c. So, we are going to rewrite this. y is equal to c cos h of x by c. So, this c we will take to the denominator of this y by c is cos h of x by c. When we square this here it will become y by c whole square. So this is c and this is y by c whole square. Now rho will become c into y square by c square. After cancelling this we get the radius of curvature rho is y square by c. The question they have given show that the radius of curvature is y square by c and here we got the result. 